So we're looking at uh, what was in the sort of recent geologic past uh, part of part of the larger island that was called Santa Rosé. The large yeah. island was called Santa Rosé. Santa Rosé, yeah. Santa Rosé. So was all of the Channel Islands was one bones. large island called bones. Santa Rosé. All, all the northern Channel Islands. All the northern Channel hey, Islands. Hey, back, back row. We got some bones. 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 Interesting. Stay Vertebra. here. Stop ship. Probably marine ship's mammal. Ship stopped. We're okay. Be my guess. Interesting. Try to find something identifiable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you identify that, Brennan? This might be more exciting to talk about than the geolo geology. Yeah. But yeah, I was go going on about the how we were one, uh, this area was one big island um, at the last glacial maximum, and sea level was much lower. And so we're looking at a landscape that was uh, subaerial uh, 20,000 years ago to yeah. 15,000 years ago or so. Yeah, I got back. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna these rocks. Down. Are probably similar to rocks that outcrop on the islands and make up the geological right, character of the continental shelf in this area, and um, we're curious to verify that. So any rock sample that we collect here can be correlated to rocks on the islands and help us okay, trace the geologic structure really of the whole region. Yeah. Well, if there's a marine mammal biologist somewhere online or later on can that look at this. That vertebra might be pretty telltale. But Why don't we take a really close zoom on that? Yeah. But the odds are. That it's a marine mammal, either a dolphin all the way, or a sea lion, because they get uh, eaten a lot by great white sharks around here. Dolphins and, get uh, eaten by great white sharks around here? Sorry. Okay. That's yeah. all I got. If they're well, young. Yeah, and it's especially also if they, um, and then a lot of them die from ingesting harmful algal blooms. What would be the most identifiable, like a jawbone or something? Yeah, or even pelvic bones. Yeah. Well, I, I thought, thought I saw a pelvic <coughs> below. Yeah, yeah, I did too. That's why I asked you to zoom in earlier. You didn't get any zooms at the top. I just yeah, there's something interesting up there, maybe. That could be a job. All right, you want me to go right in? Out, yeah. Oh, that looks like a... Maybe More it's, real. It looks like a something claw, funny, yeah. but oh. that's probably Is just the way they're sitting. Could be part of a fin or a f foot. It's also a small bone to the right. All right. I'm good here unless Come in anybody wide, else please. needs anything. There's also some side pieces. I don't know if you want to do a full document of it. Yeah, if you see it, let's take a quick look. Yeah, I'm going to come up bottom. I'll give you a spin to the right. We'll take a close into that stuff. Okay. okay uh, can you come, like, not all the way wide, but a little You've bit? probably been here a while. Or you can leave it. He's just cleaned off pretty well. Bones go pretty quick, though, like some of them are buried. How long do bones last? 50, 60 she years? Got out. No way. All the way in? Unless they're preserved in anoxic sediments or something like that, I bet they're gone in a, in a year. A year? No kidding. Yeah, pretty quick. Too. Wow. So or or, or buried, one or the other. Here. Decomposed or buried. Oh, here's another inside. angle on the large bone to the bottom left. Hi, bones. Hi, bones. For God's sake, Jim. So don't, we don't really <laughs> know what that is. We just know it's probably a small marine mammal. You have any decency, Jim. All right, so we're probably going to be going. Oh, no, i got a center over here I'm again. Alvin, not a doctor. We're, we're probably going to be going 200, zero, 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 heading 200. Zero, zero. Zero. I set you up for the next target, so Roger. you'll be, you'll be good up there. 